Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Creative Fold video, and again, I am featuring Creative Folds in 3D uh, for the holiday season. I hope you're joining me um, from my What's Up with Stampin' Up um, that I did on Friday as I showed you these wonderful coffee cups and the cute little uh, favor that I did for that. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the carrier. I'm going to bring in my personal trimmer. If I'm not mistaken, this pattern was created by Becky Roberts. I am hope I'm giving credit um, where it is due, but I'm pretty sure it was done by Be Becky Roberts. I'm going to take an eight and a half by uh, 11 piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut it at the four inch by six and three quarter. This is the base for my carrier. I'm going to bring back this piece of cardstock and I'm going to cut it at one and seven eighths by eleven. So first we're going to be working with the base. I'm going to go around on all four corners and I'm going to score at one inch. So one inch, all four corners, and this is going to form the carrier base. like so. I'm going to just score them over and then I am going to cut at a diagonal those one inch squares on the four sides. This just helps when we fold up to make our carrier that we don't have bulkiness going on and then I am going to cut the sides, all four sides, just to do my flaps. I see I cut them different on this end, but it'll still work because what I'm going to do is just fold them in like so. Just going to use my snail adhesive. I suggest again to use sticky strip, make sure they hold together, but the sake of the video I'm just going to use the snail. So I'm going to fold those in like so. And as you see why you need the sticky strip because you want it to be strong. I'm going to go back in to that one and seven eighths by eleven. I'm going to score it at one and a half inches, five and a half inches, and nine and a half inches. Now my coffee cups on Friday I filled with hard candy. The ones that I'm done today I just found the Taster's Choice Instant Coffee and just filled them with that. We could use the little coffee cup courier um, cups. I believe they would fit in there also. So here we've got our handles. I have seen it done with the oval punch at the top. I am going to elect not to do um, that. I'm just going to go with a straight carrier. So just going to add some snail. Again, I would use sticky strip. Place that in the middle. Then I have taken designer series paper. I've used the all is calm like I used for the cups. I cut two pieces that are three quarter inch by four and a half. That is going to go on, boy that ribbon just wants to stick with me. They, that is going to go on the front of the box like so and on the back opposite side. I also cut two pieces 
from that designer series paper that measure one and three quarter by three quarter and those go on the ends of your carrier like so. Again, where you buy the little cups, make sure you check out my blog from last Friday to get the instructions. So these just fit right in like so. I've already taken the decorative label punch and a circle punch, punched out my greeting. Going to add a dimensional to that and add that to the front of the carrier. These were a project I did for a recent craft fair I did and they were such a hit. Hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.